Tell us about your round today. Um, I played very consistently. Um, I started with bogeys on number four and five, but um, number nine was a really like momentum changer for me. I hit it to six eight, I birdied that, and I birdied ten, and then I eagled fifteen. And um, it was hard out from there. How did you eagle fifteen? Did you make a shot? Or um, yeah, I hit my drive down the fairway. Uh, I had two oh five in. I hit my five par bridge to like twelve feet, and then I made the downhill. But that's nice. Yeah. Um, so you're going to be one shot shot out of the lead going into tomorrow. What are your thoughts about tomorrow? Um, I mean, I've been in contention a few times. But I haven't been able to close it out. Um, I mean, I I'm pretty familiar with this position, so um, I'm I'm ready. I just play my own game. Have you been in the final three some uh, before? Yes, I have. Um, so you've played this course three days now. Do you feel like you're getting used to it, or like what problem spots do you think you have or are um, good at? I'm definitely. All you have to do is avoid the rough out here. The rough is just very, very tough. Um, as long as I stay out of the rough, I feel like I won't have too much, too much trouble. Um, the greens have a lot of elevation something that I'm not really used to from California, but um, hopefully I can just roll a couple more puts in. What would a uh, victory mean to you? Uh, I actually have not won an ADD Invitational yet, so, um, and this is my last year playing junior golf, and it would, it would just mean the world to me. Awesome. And can you tell us what you like about Rolex Girls? Um, I mean, this event this is my first year playing the Rolex Girls. I've played the TOC three times already, but um, Rolex always has the best venue. Uh, we always have the toughest courses, the, the best fields, and it's just, it's so much fun to be out here. I'm good.